Hey guys, Team Trekyards is back. I, as always, am Captain Foley. I'm Connor Cockings, and this is an announcement video, I think, given the title of the video up there. Announcement. Mm. Mm. Anyway, so we have a new guest, obviously, okay. so we're going to announce them and, you know, get to know them a little bit before we actually get in-depth with what they do. So, Samuel, who do we have today? Well, first of all, let's preface this by saying there's a long history of Star Trek, of, of TV, of movies, of, of comic books. There's one thing that we're starting to get into now here at Trekyards that we love, that's the video games. But you know what? Sometimes video games aren't just enough. There are fan-made Star Trek games. I'm very happy to welcome Max Loaf, the, uh, let's just say, the brainchild of Star Trek Armada 3. That was four there. Three. Welcome to the show, Max. Hi, guys. Um, yeah, good to be here. Good to be here. So, so tell us a little about your history with computers and gaming and, you know, what did you play the Atari when it first came out? I mean, what, what not, was I'm your not, progression not up to this? Uh, well, <laughs> um, Star Trek gaming uh, really started out with me um, uh, with the Elite Force demo, crazy mm. enough, um, mm. which I got at an aunt's place. And uh, basically this kind of piqued my interest in Star Trek games because I already watched a show when I was a kid. Um, and then I f finally got Starfleet Command 3 and Armada 2 um, mm. from the library. I borrowed it and played that uh, to death. Until I finally got my hands on a copy of my most favorite Trek game of all time, Star Trek Bridge Commander. Um, mm -hmm. And I started modding that, and that's kind of a... The story goes on in that, how I started Armada 3, so... Uh... So, you're, so you started Bridge Command, that's... Yeah, if, you've, if, you've seen, if you've seen Trek Yards, you know, that's my favorite Trek game when modded. So I'm sure I actually use some of your games, some of your uh, ships and stations, probably. Down the line, somewhere. Well, I haven't really modded much for Bridge Commander in a long time. I mean, I released the Aftermath mod way back. Um, okay. But the first real big project I kind of was involved with was um, for another game, which was less than stellar at release, mm. which was Star Trek Legacy. Mm. I was uh, mm -hmm. one of the 3D artists on the Ultimate Universe mod, mm. um, which was run by Chris Jones, who was uh, very active in the Starfleet Command community as well. He, um, he did the Generations at War mod for Starfleet Command 2, mm. Orion mm. Pirates. That's basically how I really got into modding, and then, you know, I got my own little brainchild, which was Armada 3. Which is worth asking, you know, we understand how much work these sorts of things take. What sort of guy do you have to be to be crazy enough to say, I'm going to make a mass multi-era, multi-generational Star Trek game, and then it blow up to this massive thing? What sort of crazy person are you, Max? Um, what drives you to well, do that? I well, I mean, you could look in the mirror for that one, pretty much, but... <laughs> No, I mean, it's just, uh, I love the show, I love the ships, and um, I felt that the original games weren't good enough in some point, so I figured, why not just make it better myself? That's how, basically how, how it came to be. And how do you go about doing that? Like, what, I know some ships aren't up to your specifications, resolution-wise, or whatever, and mm. you want to add new ships. So where do you start, and what's the, the general way that things happen for that? Um, well, with Star Trek Armada 3, I mean, the game wasn't Trek at all. Mm. So this started out with, like, okay... Let's, let's let's add some Star Trek stuff. So I started adding like a few ships, um, and then it was like, okay, I've pretty much added all Federation ships now. Let's see if I can do more. <laughs> and this took like the first two years, where before the mod really went public, it was kind of like a little my own pet project. I had one or two people involved. You know, we kind of were messing around with it. And um, you know, uh, when we got it announced on Mod DB, we just had the Federation. Like we just had the ships in. We had a few stations in. Not everything was replaced. And at one point, more and more people started getting interested. And as more people got interested, I got people who wanted to join the team. And it really exploded unexpectedly at one point. I mean, hmm. when more people started joining, um, we really started to kind of go for a certain view. And one of the biggest hmm. things we wanted to do was, all right, we want to make this the spiritual successor to Armada 2. So I mean, it was called Armada 3 already. But we wanted to make it as good and uh, we wanted to lean on as much as also as well as the older Star Trek games. So we wanted to bring in a lot of nostalgia, which helps a lot um, when it comes to these older games, because, I mean, at the time, there was a complete drought of Star Trek games. This was mm -hmm. um, before Star Trek 2009 got released. So, you know, there wasn't any movie. There wasn't any show going on. Enterprise was already finished. There was, real there was Trek no drought. Trek Yards. Yeah. I mean, can you imagine a world without that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. Hmm. <laughs> well, I, th I think one thing we haven't actually said, and we probably should do, um, what is, <laughs> summarize Armada 3 for the audience there, because to be honest, while I know a lot of people have played the game, you know, I've played hundreds of hours, an amazing experience, the general trick community, maybe the older people, maybe the younger people, those who haven't got PCs, what is Armada 3, and why should you play it, uh, and then, yeah. Alright, so Star Trek Armada 3 is a mod for um, 
uh, a game called Sins of Solar Empire Rebellion, which is a, a strategy game made by Ironclad Interactive and published by uh, Stardock Entertainment. Um, so the game basically revolves around you capturing planets, you know, building your building your uh, star bases up and building um, shipyards, and basically it's a simple end goal is conquer the galaxy through either or conquer the systems through either killing everyone else or by uh, making peace with everyone. So um, this game is not much about the grand strategy like some other games, which I'll get into later, but it's more about the direct ship ship combat and mm. it's uh, very strategic and tactical. Um, yeah, I mean, and and basically we turn that into a Trek game. Um, so, you know, you've got the Federation, Klingon, Romulans, uh, and the Borg in our original release. And then we got the uh, Call to Arms expansion that we uh, made, which added the Cardassian and the Dominion in one faction, which is a really cool mechanic. You started as the Cardassians, and you can pick about halfway through the game if you want to be either Dominion uh, Cardassian loyalists or if you want to join the Dominion. Um, and this has drastic effects on what ships you get. And uh, we're kind of now working on um, our final expansion, which is the Final Frontier, which tries to push gameplay and mm. um, planetary variation to its very limit. But the you know we're kind of stretching the game engine to its limit. That sounds awesome. Although one thing I want to say, the fans out there, out there might be asking, well, so why why are you on the show? Well, not only to, to highlight this amazing mod that if you want to play a true to true Star Trek game, go play it. But also, you have developed. A lot of great new ships for the mod uh, went to the older games, rebuilt those 3D models. You have a great understanding of the universe of Trek ships as design and <laughs> might even bring some of those ships to Trek Yard. So you'll be seeing Max again, and I think I want to leave with that tease because he is a ship guy as well and just as passionate as we are over here at Trek Yards, and that does say something. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I have, I, have, I have one quick question before we cut off this announcement, though. Why no TOS ships? As as a TOS fan, I always want to see TOS ships, and I never get them. I get All movie right, era. All right, so you were. The, um, one thing, right, Star Trek Armada 3 itself, um, the, the game engine is a 32-bit game engine. Basically means we can only add so much before the game crashes, and we are already, like, the engines are, like, we're already patching the seams, and it's bursting out on every and from every direction. Um, however, we were working on another mod called Axnar Strategic Operations. Mm. However, with the lawsuit of Axnar happening, we put that on the back burner. And um, for other reasons as well, I mean, when we would figure out that the lawsuit was going to be dropped, you know, we were almost ready to re return to the project. However, um, there were other developments with another game, which you will see TOS ships in. Um, mm. Even other era ships, maybe Sounds even like every video. era ships. Sounds yeah. like another video to make. Mm. <laughs> I'll tell some more about that later, uh, but um, yeah, the, the basically it's, it's limits of the engine. I mean, hmm. we've got TOS ships ready, we've got designs for TOS ready, we've got designs between Enterprise and TOS ready, we've got lots of things to show you in the future. You're making Stuart very happy, Max. Yes, indeed. Not so happy that I can't like... Speaking of TOS ships, there might even be multiple variations of the Constitution class based on the pilot and maybe based on, you know, the actual series run. And maybe Phase 2? I want to uh, see no a Phase 2. No plans at the moment, Ooh. but possible in the future. I love see how how we, we'll see how it pans out. I love how he just basically gave you the world strip. Did we say Phase 2? Oh, so disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not a fan of the Phase 2 Enterprise, but I think it'd be I fun am. for people That's, to be able not, to it's use it. It's not bad. It's, I, like I think it's nice looking. But... I like Devices version the best. Nice yes. But anyway, I think thank you, Max, for joining us on Trek Yards. We're going to be talking to you a lot more about all these different things. But Maybe soon. This, this is just the announcement video, guys, yeah. so we can't get too much into it. Yeah. But I think that's it for now. Samuel, anything else? Just thanks so much, Max, and we'll talk to you very, very soon. <laughs> it was nice to be here. <laughs> Until next time, guys, I'm Captain Foley. I'm Connor Coggins. And I'm Max. And we will see you all later. Bye.